Kevin Actual Hart on BBC Radio 1. Hello. How you doing, Jim? This is a, a, a big, big guest for us on our show, so thank you very much. Am I, like, the biggest guest? Yes, I'd say so. We had Peter Dinklage. That was pretty big. Peter's big. We should start. First of all, by telling us about the film, because we've seen it, and we all think it's a great Saturday night movie to watch with the family. Saturday night? Yeah! Well, why not Friday night? I mean, it's coming out on a Friday, so it can be... How about we say it's a Friday night, okay. and if you choose yes. to get to Saturday, we get there, right? But either way, it's fine. But I think we start out with the Friday night bang, and then maybe for those people that are like, oh, whoa, watch it, I want to watch it again, here's why it can be a great Saturday night movie as well. It's a heist movie that takes place 40,000 feet in the air, which is amazing. Aeroplane etiquette is something in Britain that we often talk about. Yeah. What is the worst thing that passengers can do on a flight for you? Talk to me. <laughs> Well, nobody, nobody flies to meet a new friend. Yeah, going to London, huh? You know I'm going to London. Yeah. It says it on the board. <laughs> go to sleep. Get in your cubby or get in your seat and go to sleep. What about children? Would you be happy to do flights where... Absolutely not. I don't want to be around them. I don't want a kid kicking my seat. I don't want a kid fussing with his parents about not wanting to sit there. The flight's too long. Or I don't want to eat. Or my iPad's not charged. Shut up! <laughs> Get that baby in the back. Also in the movie, there's um, a scene where you have to pretend to be joining the Mile High Club. Yes. Now, we don't want to go too personal, but just from that scene, do you think practically the Mile High Club in a flight toilet is easy to do? Uh, I mean, I think anything is easy if you want to do it. Yeah. You know, all you got to do is just have somebody this game with you. Not that I'm familiar with this type of thing, but if oh, I okay. was, if I was, you know, the adventures of... <laughs> take place with people that go, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's put a story together. Relationships are about stories. Okay. And without stories, you have no relationship, you know? You are a member of the Mile High Club. I, I got about a thousand miles <laughs> on, my, on my Mile High car. <laughs> my wife are here doesn't kill me. Brilliant. Uh, I'm not recommending going get yourself kicked off any planes. Okay. You know, the way I fly is different from the way other people fly. So yeah. I'm not saying jump on these commercial flights and, you know, spend a bunch of time in the bathroom and get caught because they'll arrest you. We're going to do access all apps now. We usually do this with our big guests, okay. our celebrity guests. And it's basically, we're going to go into your phone through the Radio 1 listeners. Nice. They've, they've got some questions for you. Okay. okay, first up is this. Hi, Kevin. Liam from Eastbourne here. And I want to know, what is the last message you received from Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Our messages are always easy. Checking on you. Hope you're well. See what you're doing. Much support, much love. I think the last message I sent to him honestly was something with like a real tight shirt for like the WWE thing where he came out. I was like, that's aggressive. Like, they, they go up a size. Yeah, <laughs> we get it. You're big. Like, come on. I like that you're not using your actual phone for this. Oh, because it's my phone. I mean, I know it's in there. Okay. I mean, you got to search. Uh, let's see what I do. Like, you don't know. That would be me acting. Hello, Radio One. My name's Hannah, and I would like to know what their last screenshot is. My last screenshot? Now, that I don't know. Go on. It's me sending a message to my kids. When I'm fussing at one of my kids, I send the message that I sent to my kid that I'm fussing with to the kid I'm not fussing with. So I can say, you need to talk to your sister because this is what I'm doing. <laughs> a teenager. So whenever you beefing with one kid, you got to go to the other kid that you're not beefing with. Scare them because this is what you could get. Do you have any, what's your general advice for, for fathers? Because Roshan, our producer, has just had a baby. What would your advice be to him? She's really? literally a month old. A month old baby? Yeah. Uh, let that baby learn fast, you know? All that baby proof in the house is stupid. You let that baby fall on sharp stuff. You let that baby touch hot pots. Uh, you know, all that stuff they say your child shouldn't do. Let that baby do it. That's how they learn. I have, you know, every one of my kids have hit their head on the coffee table. They've touched an electric socket, uh, fell down some steps. We go rogue in my house. Uh, let's do uh, another one. Uh, this is Christian, and I'd love to see or hear the last thing that went into your notes app. Mm. Let's see here. Last thing that went into my notes app. Ready? Yeah. Uh, workouts for the next 12 days while I'm on promo tour. Hit me up. Monday, four sets, dumbbell squat to press, uh, jump squats, 20 push-ups, pull-throughs, 10. Uh, do that, four sets. Next four set round step-ups, eight per leg, uh, kickback, deadlift, plank reaches. Do that. Four sets. All right, the third one, and this is the complete the workout. Slide, side lunge to snatch. Oh, that's tough. In and out, 30, sprint, 20 seconds. That completes my Monday workout. Wow, that's impressive. It's impressive, right? Do you think The Rock does as much? No, no. Actually, at the bottom of this, all the way at the bottom of my notes, it goes The Rock could never. <laughs> 
<laughs> there you go. There you go. We've got time quickly for one more. Hi, Kevin. My question for you is what comes up on your phone when you search awards on your messages? Ooh. So, you, do you have WhatsApp? A lot of Americans don't use WhatsApp, do they? Yeah, because we're cool. Um, <laughs> let me see what comes up. No, Americans. <laughs> All right. Oh, here it is. You ready? Snubbed again. This is a message to my publicist. But I didn't get another Kids' Choice Award. You know, they really do snub me with those Kids' Choice Awards. And I take it serious. Yeah? Yeah. I just feel like kids should love me more and they don't. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're very well loved here in the UK. Yeah. Yeah? You, like, UK kids love me. Um, Kevin, thank you so much for speaking to us today. This was great, man. This yeah. was really cool. You enjoyed that? Yeah, I really did, man. Tell us about the movie again and when it's out. It's a perfect Friday night film. Well, the fact that you said Saturday the first time really was awkward. Uh, it really was. And I'm glad that we were able to fix that. Peter Dinklage would have never let you get away with it. <laughs> Peter would have punched you. Peter don't play that. And I don't know if you know that. So in the future, you got to be careful, man, because some of these people don't play. I'm as cool as a cucumber. All right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate Thank you it. so much. <laughs> That was great. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. We really appreciate oh, that. George, you're leaving Kevin hanging. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, George. It's good to sorry. Sorry. sorry.